So Catch the Wind is in the key, well, we're going to do it in the key of C. Donovan does it, uh, original recording key of E flat. I'll show you how you get there later. But we're going to start in the key of C because he does play it in a C form, just using the capo, moving it up to a different key. So C. And our, our, uh, our time signature is 3-4. So that means we have three beats and a quarter note gets a beat. So we got three quarter notes. One, two, three, one, two, three. So that's the, uh, that's the rhythm idea. So let's start with the C. And we're going to voice it, change our voicing here a little bit. We'll take our fourth finger and put that on the first string in the third fret. That makes the note G, which is the fifth of our C chord, C, E, and G. And uh, one, two, three. So, one, we're going to play a root note or a bass note. One, two, three. And two and three, we're going to play chords. And we can play eighth notes as well. Let's do one, two, three, one, two, three. Or one, two, three. Okay. So that's our rhythm. We're going to do that kind of thing throughout the whole song. To get the help files, including harmonica tabs for today's lesson, you need to be a Harp and Guitar member. Sign up is free. Go to harpandguitar.com, click on free sign up, enter your first name and email, and I'll send you a link to your free members area where you'll find the chords, lyrics, and tabs for dozens of great songs, including today's lesson. Okay, so let's look at the intro. It's gonna go like this. So we'll do a bar of our C. One, two, three. Then our second bar, we're going to do a hammer on. We'll do our take our second finger off that fourth string. Right? We'll do a D to E hammer on right on the downbeat. And do that's our second bar. So one, C, hammer on. Then we go to F. And this is F with that G. We're going to hang out. That G's going to hang out for this whole song, except for like two bars later on. But you can just glue that down there for this whole song, except for, like I say, two bars. Uh, so this makes this uh, chord F add nine. G, if we're stacking thirds on our F chord, if we got to G, that would be our ninth. So this is F, F major add nine. And it sounds cool. So. Okay, so back to back to our beginning here. So we got a bar of C, hammer on, F, so F, strum, and then we're going to go E, so we're going to move, take our, our third finger off F here, and move our second finger up onto that fourth, fourth fret, fourth string, second fret, so that's F, F, E, so F, and then we're going to take that right off. So that's D. And as we do the D, we're going to go to the chord G. And then we'll do so the strum. And then three, B to C. Okay, let's take that over again here. C, hammer on. F, E, D, B, C. Then we're going to go right to F. F. Intro, C, hammer on, F, E, D, B, C, F, E, C, G. And we'll also be using a little walk up from our G to a C. We'll use it, a bar of this will go G, A, B, C. Okay, and then we're into it. Okay, so we got that. Let's move on. Let's get into the verse. Okay, starting off C. Then we're gonna go C over G. We're gonna put a G in the bass. So we're gonna move that finger, third finger there, from our fifth string to our sixth string. 
One, two, three, one, two, three. And we're going to go to our F at nine. And we're playing the F with our thumb wrapped around there. That might take some practice. Okay, so that's our first four bars. So we'll do that. Let's do that. In the chilly hours and minutes of uncertainty, I wanna be. All right, so we do that twice. Then we're gonna go C, G, F, and then to G. C, hammer on, G, walk up to C. And we're into the second half of the verse. Do that again. F. C. Over G. F. To G. To C. F. G. So right off that, we have to, right after catch the wind, it's right into F. E. C. G. So checking out the bridge comes after our uh, second verse, second uh, Catch the Wind, it goes directly into D, 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 which we'll put a harmonica on, but it goes to F, two bars of F, and it goes to E minor. So we'll play E minor, well, we can just leave that finger, that fourth finger just hanging out, hanging out on that. I E chord, I E string on the G. So we do two bars of that, and we go right back to our F. And then we're going to go to D7 with F sharp in the bass. And this time we're going to get rid of that finger. We're not going to use it this time. For two bars. And then we go to a G. For one bar, and then we're going to take this G, and we're going to take a little hammer on. We're going to do it. A D to E hammer on. So let's just do that. <laughs> let's do that again. Then we're going to do a little from our E. We're going to do an E to F hammer on. And then we're going to take it and do another D to E hammer on. So like this. Maybe not quite like that. Maybe like this. <laughs> Get the idea, into the rest. <laughs> right on. Okay, so what were we doing? So we do the, let's just do the bridge again. Right, starting on F. Add nine, F, F major, add nine. One, two, three, one, two, three, D, E minor. F again. D, seven. So Donovan did not record Catch the Wind in the key of C. He played it like these chords. He played it just like we're showing you here. But he played it, uh, the original recording, he played in E flat. So if you took your capo and you put it on the third fret, that would raise the key of the song from C. You keep on playing C. But that's now, now I'm in E flat. that one on there. So in that case you would use an E flat harmonica. You'd stay in first position and uh, move up with that. Okay so um, if you want to play along with his original recording you can do that. He's also live versions of him playing it with the uh, capo on the second fret which puts us in the key of D. And so you would use a D harmonica. So we just swap out our harmonicas here, get it nice right way up, and then. Let's 
just a D harmonica. All we have to do, same, same blow and draws, we just swap out the harmonica. So that's moved it up two semitones, or a whole tone from C, with no fret, no capo, to D. Uh, capo on the second fret. Okay, so we can move that all around, just to uh, make it, uh, if it fits better for your voice, or if you only have a harmonica in a particular key, then you can uh, you know, use the capo to move it around. All right, so that's Donovan's Catch the Wind. A lot of good stuff there. We had the uh, key signature, time signature, right? Three, four, a little different than what maybe you're used to. We had uh, a, a neat uh, bass and chord rhythm thing going on there on the guitar. Uh, some different kind of chorus too. Maybe that F wrap around with the thumb is a uh, different, so that'll take some work, but that's a neat one. Right on. So thanks for joining me. Cool. See you in the next one. Thanks for hanging with me and visiting Harp and Guitar on YouTube. Please subscribe if you haven't already and give us a thumbs up. I'm George Goodman and I'm a Harp and Guitarist. And I want to help you sound great on guitar and harmonica. Join me and learn some great songs. We've got the chords and harmonica tabs covered, but we'll dig a little deeper. We'll also count out the rhythms, choose the right key harmonica, and learn where to find the sweetest or dirtiest notes are on the harmonica. Right on, let's go jam some songs. <laughs>